Hello, this is Brent TRM here, aka the Redstone Master, and today I am doing my top five simple redstone contraptions. So coming in at number five is this. Simple just open the just open the doors, right? No. They don't open. No matter what, they will not open. No matter what you do, and put items on them, nothing. Nothing at all will open them. And the secret to this is this lever. So that's actually, the lever is switched on. Now you'd think that would open it. But if you, but what I actually did is if we flip that lever this way, this is actually how the door is regularly. So basically how this works is, let's get rid of that. You actually place the door down like that. And I think the hinges are wrong. Yep, well... It actually does take quite a while to get the hinges correct. Very frustrating. There we go. I got it. I don't know how to, how did I how did I do that? <laughs> All right, but that's how that works. And then number four is probably um it's probably again very frustrating. Um, you try to put something in, it always comes out. No matter what you put in, it's just coming back on at you. No matter what, everything. A <laughs> good hint. If you would, if you do this with a dispenser and not a dropper, um, don't put TNT in it. But how the redstone works is, um, let's just break away some of this carpet. You can kind of see here, it's just kind of that loop. Kind of a loop. It's just, the comparator goes here, powers the repeater, and then it loops around back to the dispenser. Also, a good hint, you can never have it, like, meet up with the dispenser here but still go around like that because if that happens there's just this weird little glitch like it won't work i still don't know why but anyways on to uh number three which probably has to be this this is a working seat now this isn't really redstone related and unlike like all the other seats that a lot of people know how to make. The minecart in this one won't move at all. And how you actually do this is I have all the materials in here, you need all that. Um let's see, I don't need you, don't need you, don't need you. Need you, need you, need you. Alright. So basically how this works is um let's just go do this out here. So all I gotta do is break a block, place the end portal frame. Place a random block, any block, put a rail on top of it, rail on top of it, put a minecart, break that, and then place oak wood stair next to it, place a block of redstone, as you can see one block left in between to place a piston, and then that, that's how that works, and then you can, and then you can break those two things away, and then bam, and it never moves, no matter what you do, if I get out here, I can even figure out how to get out of this thing. See? Doesn't move. Don't move. Nope, not at all. Alright, and then that's that. And then this is number two. This is a working trash can. And basically, if you can get something inside of it, this is probably the hardest part. Yep, there we go. Got, got it inside. And if you are wondering how that works... We go underneath here, you can see just how. It's a minecart with hopper. And if you put a half slab on top of a minecart with hopper, the hopper will still pick stuff up. And if you're wondering how there's nothing in there, it's just a bunch of other hoppers below it. So, quite simple. Um, I think probably the hardest part is making it look kind of like a trash can. Usually I just put two half slabs with a little tiny like slab space in the middle. And, um put paintings all around it but anyways I gotta say coming in at number one is this the automatic vacuum cleaner now if let's say ooh I dropped some of my stuff let's just drop everything in my inventory not my armor I like my armor and an iron door over here. Pick 
one of you up? No, I guess we're gonna run you. Okay, it should stay working. Please keep working. Come on. Why are you not working? Are you full? I think it's full. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's full. No, I want to open you. No! There, ah, I got it for a second. There, that should stop it. No! There. Now when it comes back, it should get stopped in these. Come on. Yes! What the? Um, um. Okay, well, it, it is a little slow. It definitely does work, though. Um, t definitely, like, takes a while for it to actually empty out if you put too much stuff in it. I think it should be just about empty down here. There we go, all emptied out. And, um, basically how this works is the half slab glitch again. It's kind of like a moving trash can. And, um, it's just all these. Jeez! Um, I'm not good at breaking things. But, I, I, I would get a closer look, but, um, let's see if I can do the elytra glitch. Let, let me, let me glitch. Let me glitch. No. Yes. Okay, well, you can kind of see how this is all working. Just a bunch of power rails that are on. If you don't know how power rails turn on, then um, a lot a lot of people do. But in case you don't, you just gotta power them with redstone. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So I hope to see you guys all in the next video. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Anyways, I'll see you on the next video. Bye.